Imagine you are a scientist and you have been given the task of identifying this little creature. How do you even begin? What do you do? He's already been classified, you just have to find out what he is. You use a tool for this, and this tool is called a dichotomous key. A dichotomous key really is like a list of step-by-step -step instructions that compares the physical, observable traits of an organism to help you identify the organism. So let's start with this little guy. You always start at number one, and you read both steps. The creature has a large, wide head, or the creature has a small, narrow head. Well, this guy has a large, wide head, so we go to number two. Then we read both steps there. It has three eyes, or it has two eyes. He's got two eyes, so we go to seven. The creature has hairy spikes, or the creature has no spikes. This guy's definitely got some spikes, so we're going to be going to number eight. There is a star in the middle of its body, or there is no star in the middle of its body. I don't see a star, so that means we're going to nine. Number nine, the creature has an arch-shaped bottom, or the creature has an M-shaped bottom. Well, I see an arch-shaped bottom here, so that means our creature's name is Broadus Kifferus. So we identified him. We figured out what exactly he is. Let's try another one. This one, I'll let you do. So start at number one and read both options. Where should you go after number one? If you said go to 11, you're correct. Great job. Number 11, where do you go next? If you said 14, that is correct. Where do you go after 14? 15 is right, good job. What's the next step? Go to 16. So now you have two choices of who your creature is. What is your creature's name? If you guessed Narrowus Planus, you are correct. Good job, guys. Way to go. And that's how you use a dichotomous key.